Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Welcome to Chris's Talking, and this is your weekly anime review for Boku no Hero Academia. And this is for episode six, and what an amazing episode. Six episodes in, only six episodes in, and already Deku is having so much character development. The mount that in a, uh, Hitman Reborn uh, Suno took the whole series to get, and we get this in six episodes in, and it's not like it's rushed, and it's not like it's forced, and it's not like we're getting too much. We're literally seeing his mindset of how Deku is and how he's going to be a really good character and it's things like this that when i read the manga it shows that he's going to be one of the new top people in a shonen jump series and you may be thinking well we're like chris is going a bit too far but i'm a manga reader and i can tell you yes yes deku is definitely up there um and for you anime watchers and anime onlys you'll get to see this be translated and like turned into the anime and let me tell you one thing, it is following it panel by panel. Studio Bones are really killing it right now with making sure that it doesn't deviate from the original source. So I'm watching it and I'm like, yes, this is amazing. And like the colors from the story, from the fighting, the, the voice acting. And can we just say Great Boy? Um, I'm gonna call him Great Boy because I've seen him in a manga, but he's a little one who has like the bald things on his head. Yeah, he he he's gonna be he's gonna be man of the year. <laughs> he's gonna be man of the year for this manga because he is too much. Like he is too much, and this is just an anime. When you guys read the manga, or when it catches up to where we are in the manga, you guys are just gonna end up loving him more and more. I love that we're starting to see more from other characters, and we um got to see this through the students getting to create their own costumes and seeing their own thoughts and their own designs and how they want to be looked and treated as heroes. And on the theme of costumes, we get to see Deku's design for his outfit and wow, wow yeah, um, that, that wasn't that wasn't Sly Deku, that wasn't Sly, literally you're gonna try and say that that doesn't look anything like All Might. Obviously the green and the whole like jumpsuit kind of style doesn't look like All Might, but even All Might said himself, the bunny ear things just are easily a replica of All Might's hair. And then the small thing he has around there, that's obviously because of All Might. But, oh well, you know, uh, Deku was uh, inspired by All Might, so you go Deku, but hopefully in the series we will get to see a change and maybe an upgrade of his uniform. Um, I know it might sound kind of contradictory because I've seen, I've read the manga, but I kind of don't remember specifically what his outfit looks like. So I'm actually watching this with high hopes and just learning and seeing more new things in every single episode. Another good thing about this episode is that we got to see Deku and uh, Ida. I'm gonna say Ida, I hope that's his name. Deku and Ida, they're, they're going to be the villains in the next week's episode. And Ochako and Deku, they're also, and they're going to be the heroes. So they're kind of going against each other. So what's really interesting and kind of ironic is that that is that Bakugo is going to be a villain because it's not like he has to try hard or anything, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so uh, next week's episode is going to be amazing, but boy, Deku flipped. Bakugo like it was nothing. I love how even though we got to see them fight, it wasn't an arse pull. Literally, Deku said, I've been researching you guys for a while. I've been researching all the heroes that I respect for a while. So I knew you were gonna come in with the right hook and he was able to use his own kind of martial arts to be able to take him down. That's really, really cool because we know that if Deku was to even use 5% on any of the humans, they would just literally, what the? literally sorry about the singing but you know exactly what i'm talking about that would just be a side summer kind of incident so he can't be doing anything like that but fortunately deku is a really smart character and it's most of this that are meant when deku is going to be a really good shonen main character you don't see many other shonen main characters like him because normally it's the other uh, kind of discipline to get the power and have to figure out how to use the power but no it's literally Deku is really smart, he takes notes, you see him fumbling and like talking to himself, he's a proper nerd and he's got all this strength which he needs to learn as the series goes on but it's not like if he's just randomly being given loads of strength and he's just going to be OP or anything so that's super cool, I'm loving Ochako, she's like she's great i'm loving her uh, relationship and her connection to deku um her, how she told him that oh yeah deku sounds doesn't sound like a insult it actually sounds pretty cool it sounds like hope i was like oh check you ojiko yeah i remember that in the manga but it's been a while so it was really nice to see ojiko being more nice to deku it's it nice to see Ida as well um talking more with deku as well on like a normal level so like we're now seeing anime that those three are going to be more on a closer friendship kind of level so that's nice we've also got to see loads more of the other characters 
and um all might and razor head yeah they're still having that rivalry thing right there overall i thought this episode was really really good we're getting to see so much more from book on the hero academia you guys are being blessed to get to see it without knowing what's happening in the next future episodes but i'm loving it because every episode from now is just going to be fire so yeah um the music was great the animation was <laughs> studio bones killing as usual the art if you don't like it, you don't like it but i really love the art so for me it's all good the characterization with deku and bakugo that was really cool and what else was there so yeah like and just seeing all the other characters and uh the progress that they're getting in deku and deku's characterization build up from how he was in episode one to to now so on that point i give this like a nine out of ten i'm definitely i definitely can't wait for next week's episode and i will be doing a review for it guys if you like my video do like share subscribe and check out my playlist for my other stuff because i also do cabanero the iron fortress reviews i also do boku no hero academia reviews which is this one i do one piece reviews as well as other manga series and random video blogs and stuff like that so uh that being said i hope you guys have a great time enjoy the rest of the day it's a really hot day i want to get outside myself have a great time Chris talking peace